right, welcome back to Gilded Gaming and Final Fantasy XIV. How are you guys doing tonight? I think we left off right before a dungeon, so hopefully Minus and Karu come by soon and we can play with them. If not, maybe we'll find some things to fill the time because they are coming by. So let's see what Matoya has to say. Matoya? Matoya. Uh, ooh, it's for an Aether Current, too. She's in a mood to reminisce. She got the face tattoo, too. It was some um, 50 years ago, shortly after Garlemald had brought all of Ilzabad under its rule. Faced with a threat of invasion, the people of Charlayan scrambled about for a means to resist the Empire. For my part, I was tasked with developing an etheric converger. Converger. Ah, yes. A device which draws in ether and concentrates it to produce a destructive force. Oh my. But We're gonna blow open the wall? Its end, it was denounced by the Forum, who claimed that my device was more likely to destroy us than our enemies. Were... Is Stola's eyes always like that? It almost looks like she's blind. After that, they and I had a little falling out, and I decided to seal away all the fruits of my research, lest the dunder-headed ingrates reap any benefit. <laughs> Petty, I know, but gods, it was satisfying. Do mine ears deceive? It was you, was it not, who was so fond of saying that all knowledge exists to advance mankind, that how it is used depends on us. I don't remember. I don't remember. Perhaps. All right, yes. That was a pet phrase of mine. And that should give you a notion of how sick and tired I was of those spineless wretches of the forum. All talk and no trousers, that lot. All talk and no trousers. I to remain behind, rather than join the Exodus. You may have had your disagreements with my grandfather, but upon that point, your minds were as one. With respect, Master, the fruits of your research should not be left to spoil. Will you share with us the secrets of the etheric converter? I, I will. All the information you need is contained in a tome I wrote on the subject. But you'll have to fetch it from the forbidden section of the Great mm. Library. The forbidden section? Oh, thanks, Des. Oh, you were not exaggerating when you said that you had sealed it away. Though the city is abandoned, the library's guardians are all but certain to remain. We must needs cut a path through them. Come. Let us away. Not so fast, you lot. Stola and the boy are staying with me. Oh. Well, I like our new sword. I need help to make new sentinels to replace the old ones you walloped. <laughs> They'll be bored and lodging. Don't you worry. But know that you'll have to work for them. Hard. I'll have no sluggards in my house. I like her staff. The top of her staff looks like a hand being like, you know? My sound is like really low on this game. If I just not notice that because I had it jacked up in my earphones. What the hell? Okay. Um, yeah, we got the salt water turned way down. That's fine. Maybe it was because during like the raids and stuff it was really loud, I don't remember. At some point we turned it down. Uh, 
Oh. Gotcha. Oh, Alright. That one's probably mine. Yeah. Oh, the great library's guardians shouldn't pose any difficulty for a hero like you. You'll hardly notice Stola's absence. And the girl, boy, whatever, would only get in your way. <laughs> she keeps calling him a girl. But if it turns out you aren't up to the task, well, then I know you can't be trusted with someone as something as dangerous as an etheric ram. Now, the library's entrance is locked tight. I'll loan you one of my servants to open it. The broom yonder. Well, what are you waiting for? Introduce yourself, girl. The straightforward move. Oh, this still talks backwards. Let's sweeping love. Love sweeping. Let's swish swisheroo. I'm disrespectful to dust. Can you see that I'm serious? They still talk backwards like in the first game. That's cool. Let's sweeping love. That reminds me of, um, well, like the, the opening to Naruto. No, it wasn't Naruto. South Park. When they had that anime song, Let's Fighting Love. It's, it's Let's Sweeping Love. Self possessed broom. Live to sweep. None shall bite the dust. Greetings, good madam. I am Broomsy, my lady's servant for some 50 years. May I say what an honor it is to serve you. I'm given to understand that you wish to enter the great Google Library. I find it... To find it, pray head east upon leaving this cave. The building will come into view shortly after you reach the collapsed bridge. I shall go on ahead and await you at the entrance. When your preparations are in order, pray come and meet me there. It will be my pleasure to unlock the door for you. Oh, you know, I didn't tweet. I need to tweet. One sec. Um... I got too much stuff in my way typing with, like... It's weird. I'm like doing this to type. <laughs> mm. Let's fight in love. All right. Um. Oh, we just got to go to the place, and then I guess well, that'll unlock the dungeon most likely. It's so cool that they brought back Metoya's cave. It's like a, it's like it doesn't take them much. It lights a little nod to the original game, and it's still cool. All right. Oh. Medicinal herb. Okay, I was like, why can I not move? Right. The aether current right there, too. Come <laughs> on. 
Easy peasy. Man, so much news coming out of Blizzard right now, too. Freaking Burning Crusade classic and Diablo 4 trailers. And... I've got a new... Um... I've got a new poll up on Twitter. If you want to go to Twitter, you can vote for what game we're going to play after Final Fantasy IX. I'm just kind of getting, get, it's, it's early still, we're, we're only in disc one and nine, but um, I'm trying to plan ahead. And I have three games in mind, and I'm just kind of like, you know, which one first? Is, uh, Persona 5 Strikers, um, East 9, and Bravely Default 2. They're all coming out this month, or have just come out, or are about to come out next week. And, um, I want to play them. It's just a question of what order you guys want to see them in. <laughs> and should we play other games in the series? Like, should we play other East games? Should we do Persona 5 before we do Persona 5 Strikers? Should we do Bravely Default 1 before we do 2? You yeah. Questions. As far as like Deshire, I know Deshire is doing Danganronpa 2 right now, and she's planning on doing Final Fantasy 7 after that. We haven't really planned after that point, but that's that's gonna be a while off to finish both of those. I know eventually she's gonna do Final Fantasy 10 and 10 2, but I don't think she's gonna do it right after 7. I think she probably has some other things planned, but I don't know, it's up to her. Okay. We can turn that in later. That's just going to be for our Aether current, right? Speaking of, we got a couple quest ones on the line. We still have four more just out in the wild. Until Minus and um, Nova get here. For the dungeon we're about, we're about to unlock. This library, apparently, I guess, is a dungeon. And got some food just got delivered. So, <laughs> excuse me if I uh, stop for a second here. All right, let's keep moving. Um, did to head east. So, let's do that. Also, we should check. East is also the direction of the next Aether Current. I wonder if it's at the dungeon. That it is. Or at least nearby. Seems to be lining up pretty well. There it is. A waterfall there. It reminds me of Witcher 3. I don't know if I can listen to this every time my mouth is up, but we'll every now and then. Ooh, there's another one really close. Yeah, right there. Alright, the next one's pretty far off. Right up here somewhere. But that is most of them at this point. There's only two more to go pick up other than quest ones. The quest ones we generally end up getting for the most part just by grabbing any extra plus sign quests near the main quest and doing the main quest. Groomsy! You've made it. You stand before the Great Google Library, one of Hydland's foremost repositories of knowledge. 
Alas, it has fallen into disuse since the exodus some summer since. In all those years, its halls have welcomed not the coming of a single soul. Its floors felt not the loving brush of a broom. My apologies, madam. Pay, pray, pay no mind to the dreams of a humble broom. You are doubtless eager to venture within, retrieve my lady's tome. I shall unlock the door at once, and when you have what you seek, pray, return to the cave and report to my lady. All right, dungeon unlocked. Awesome, awesome. Let's see. And the guys aren't on yet. Let's see if they posted anything in the... They did something. All right, Minus says it'll be about 15 minutes. He said that seven minutes ago, so it won't be very long. We just need to fill a little bit of time. Maybe we can go hunt down those um, last couple Aether Currents around here. I wonder if we go this way or if we come around this way. Probably over here. That's the only one way to find out. Let's go look. Music's so soft. There. That's a bait. There it goes. Takes a second to turn up to get going. That's the way we want to go. Um, northeast. It's northeast, so yeah, up here. We have a quest over here, too. Yeah, let's go. Be nice when we can fly. <laughs> All the more reason to do this. Three hundred and sixty-four yawns north. Okay. Probably by where this quest is, actually. Looking pretty right. It's nice the Aether Currents team tend to be just like right beside a quest, so you, you never really have to go out of your way for them. Andy. Fight our way through some goblins here. Hey, Karanova! Finish a raid, nice! Yeah, um, Minus is just finishing up a dungeon as well, I believe. On the final boss now, hey Minus. Guys have good timing. I'm just finishing up some Aether Current quests while I'm waiting. I've got the dungeon unlocked. I don't really need to fight these guys. I need to get inside. What am I doing here? I am um, um, search Illuminati pots for Aether Flow distributors. That's what I'm looking for. I need three Aether Flow distributors. some friends in here. Oh, am I going to be safe running through here? I'm going to end up fighting too many things, aren't I? Let me get to the inner side. Is there like a door to the inner part? These guys don't hurt that much. I, just, I don't want to aggro too many of them. And probably exactly what I'm doing. Just keep moving. Alright, this one will fight. Yeah, the other one's gonna fight. Be good.
Okay, he's down. Okay, I see them over there. I see the pots! So there's the earthy current, too. Andy. Let's go. Hey, Nova! Good timing. I was just making some friends. Aren't you strong? What are you right now? Excuse me, I'm eating some chicken. Oh. All right. That's all we needed here. And the last aether current is 863 ohms to the west. Level 70, nice. You can see Dancer? I'm interested in the Dancer. Probably a cool class. Esper type Magitek, that's cool. I want to find out more about this bubble. I'm sure it's going to come up. At some point. Hmm. 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 Okay. I think we have to we have to go through the the town. I would teleport there, but we're like right there already. No, I guess we can go there. Um, let's go to Idleshire. Come out the other end. <laughs> Turn the question. Oh man, we haven't leveled your healer enough. How far off is he? Uplanders of Charlian are making Aetherites to whirl using tricksy ancient knowings. If Gobby Flock uses tools and left by old Uplanders, then Aetherite of Idle Shire will start stay spinning for many, many years. All right, we got these new gloves too. Hell yeah. We just need the one more that's off to the west, and three more quest ones, and we have... One here, and one here. That's two of the quest ones. We're still missing one more quest one after that. Hey, guys! Just over half a level. Hold on. Like one dungeon, basically, right? Hmm. Bet you that's the last quest right there. Yep. Steam appears to be rising from midnight dew's beautifully bedecked ears. So if I grab this, go out and get the last one in the world map, once you finish the dungeon, we should be able to get flight. It ain't just my losses that concern me. Gobby's count on the goods I bring in to keep this place fed and water watered. 
If I don't get my stock back, this whole town could fall apart. What do you say, Adventurer? Will you help me bring these Stephen Kerr's to book? An adventurer coming back from answer and quarter says he bumped into a gang of ill-looking brutes on Front Bridge. Nearly knocked the poor kid into Thaliac. They did. Anyhow, he says they're heading into the ruins. Meet me there and we'll start the search. All right, cool. We found the last of the uh, flight quests. I'm queued up. We're just waiting for a healer. We got everything else. I mean, we have everything else in our party. <laughs> Sadly, without healers, we don't insta-queue. That's okay. Man, we just gotta get one more person to join our weekly crew, you know? Poetics? Mm -hmm. Um... 921. If oh, I could buy something, why? Is there something I should be buying? Do Poetics work at level 72, or is it a different currency? Oh, it's 60, I mean. Level 60 and 70 in-game gear is still poetics. Nice. Well, once we get to 60, we can probably buy like a new weapon. I'm guessing. Okay. Here we go. You guys don't need to look at me eating. <laughs> you can hear me. All right. I don't know why, but it's, it feels weird to have people just watching you eat. All right. This is a library. Suddenly being reminded of Bloodborne. <laughs> All right. That's cool. three objectives in here. Defeat the demon tome. That sounds fun. I love these, like, staircases. I got the sentient tomes. Cool. I do like the music, I agree. Books here you can read. Cool.
Is there anything I should know about the first boss? Before we get there? Looks like we're already here. Oh, that's a big book. This part starts glowing, get behind it. Okay. Anything else? Is it? We're good? Alright. Do I turn this guy? Doesn't look like I do. Starts blowing, huh? Oh, it like slowed me. Hey, Ethos, thanks for helping boost the stream, man. Every little bit helps. We are. We're getting there. But, Every little bit, you know? We've got, you know, a couple more hours left to finish that boost so we can actually get it to a, an effect, and hopefully we can get it going for during Danganronpa tonight. That'd probably be awesome. Whoa, slippery. <laughs> Thankfully we have some railing. Oh my god. Interesting boss fight. It's certainly, uh, you know, unique. It kind of reminds me of Demon Wall, but it's a book, you know. Up. Ooh, Biblios! Oh, nice! Classic Final Fantasy V boss there. He's got something in for it. That's how you beat him. <laughs> I got they got the the pages from uh, Final Fantasy V too. It's like we're in the Library of the Ancients. That's awesome. Do they change into other pages when you kill them? No. I hope they don't have level five death. <laughs> Actually, we'd be safe, but still, that'd be horrible for you know some people. Be like, don't do that dungeon when you're. A multiple of five. That would <laughs> Imagine if they had an enemy in a dungeon with level five death and you get it on the roulette or something. Especially because max level will always be divisible by five, right? It'd be a dungeon you can only do while leveling. <laughs> They can cast level five death. What do you do if you are max level and you get pulled into the roulette? You just die. 
I assume they don't cast it on the whole party at once. I don't know why I just used that. Oh, boys. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's usually a blue magic spell. We have Demon Wall redone as a book, and we have Biblos. I wonder who the final boss is in here. Like, I would, if I were to guess the final boss, I would have guessed Biblos, but apparently he's the second boss. Are we only running into page 64s? Like, no page 128s or 256s or anything? Page 32s? They don't change into other pages like they did in 5. 64. Yeah, fair enough. It's still a nice callback. All right, Biblos. He even looks like Biblos. Anything we need to know about this guy? I don't have any fire spells. <laughs> no, we're good. Three, two, one. Blue flames run through him. Blue, blue flames run run throw him. Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting. Oh, he summons pages. Vulnerable. Okay, so their their death attack is a ray, so you can dodge it. I see. Oh, I see. You got to make the blue flames hit him. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I understand what you mean now. At first, I was like, blue flames run through him. What does that mean? error attacks I guess, did he, he might have had arrow in, in the old game actually come to think of it I think he did have arrow doing on the boost the stream thing 70 percent there you can do it guys you got this
I hate it when my my gap closer is still on cooldown and I try to use it and then like nothing happens. So the ever living bibliotaph, huh? Oop. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> uh, anything to know about this dude? Man, I'm about to hit 60. Why is he playing the boss? This ain't the first time. Okay. The circles around the sides light up. And multiple people standing on them. On a single one, or like we all stand on a different one, or mm, okay. After the boss. So the dots will glow when you have many people in the circle. Got it. Anything else? Marker over here, go to the edge, okay? Okay, so we gotta do each one. And the marker is what spawned those orbs, maybe? When they go off. That's pretty good.
a pretty fun boss. That's because we took too long. Whoa, hello. Oh, hello. Alright, I got both of them. We're good. This guy's almost dead. Oh, I'm dead. Crap. Okay. <laughs> I was like, we're so close. Don't lose now. Hey, Caranova, thanks for boosting the stream. We're, we're getting there. What are we at? 80%? 90%? <laughs> Thanks, Minus, for boosting the stream! One more person, I think. Thanks for raising me, too. So, do we have another dungeon coming up tonight that, that we can get to, or is that going to be it for dungeons, you think? Rogue, okay. No real gear for my actual class, but okay. Accommodation to the healer. Give it to your party members. Not tonight. Well, we'll just see how much we can get done before Deshire's stream then. The only group content left is the final quest of Heaven's Word. We're getting close. That's awesome. That's exciting. We got one little crystal left. I guess it's from doing the final quest. What's up, bud? You're thirsty? You want some water? Just don't spill it, alright? Plenty of stuff once you best beat Heavensward? Yeah, I'm sure there will be. It's all the level 60 content, right? Speaking of level 60, woo! We're level 60! So, alright, couple things. One, let's head over here and find the last point. And, um, and do this quest here. Let's go ahead and get flight. And um, then we can go look and see if we can buy a new piece of level 60 armor. Or weapon, actually. Yeah, poetic weapon. And then my Dark Knight quest for the armor, right? Yeah. Oh, dude, we're about to power up. For sure. So, 725 yams northwest. We're going to get flight, and then we're going to get our new weapon and armor. That's the plan. Because all we have left for flight, I believe, is one quest and one aether point out here in the wild, which we're heading towards right now. In fact, judging by the distance, 500 yams to do north. Eh, it's probably not quite as far away as the quest is. Once we get full poetic gear, your Dragoon will have 26k health. Wow, I only have 15k right now. As a tank, I wonder how much I'm going to have.
Yeah, we're getting close. 221 yams to the north. Probably up there. Ninety. There it is. All right. There's our last freestanding aether current in the zone. We have over forty-seven khp. At what level? Seventy. Okay. Well met last. Now here's the plan. Considering the weight of the stuff they stole, they won't get far on foot. Chances are they've got a boat hidden somewhere. I'll get on to my crew and have them stake out the riverbank. In the meantime, I want you to search the ruins for whatever you can find. Might be the bandits are lying low out there, or maybe they've stashed the loot and moved on. If you should chance on any of my belongings, I'd be obliged if you bring them back to me. Okay. Oh, back down there, really? You know, actually, we should go turn it. We should go to Matoya's cave because we can't really teleport there. We'll turn in that Aether quest before we go back to Idleshire. We need to head south, anyways. Dark Knight. They're pretty cool. Back up there, huh? Let's go to Matoya's cave first. Oh, that's even farther away. Alright, let's just go up there first. Do the weapons... And armor cost more poetics than last time, or are they still about the same prices? At 921 poetics. You still only hold 2,000. Same prices, alright, cool. We should be able to easily get a weapon then. Yeah. And then, you know, we'll get the class armor and we'll focus on the pieces that the class armor doesn't change um, first. How does the search how goes the search adventure? Did you find anything? My stock! Well, one chest's worth of it anyways. There's still some missing, but it's a damn good start. You've got the nose of a bloodhound lass. I'll be wanting to lend to that sniffer of yours to track down the rest of my property. Sweet. You need to do that on your own. I got my ether current. Alright. Let's... We're really close to Idleshire. Let's go to Idleshire. Right, we can just teleport to Idleshire. I mean, we're really close. It's right there. Alright. So we'll go in here. We'll turn in that other quest. And look about getting the weapon. And then we're going to have to ride all the way down to Matoya's Cave for the final Aether Current. Yep. And then 
And then class quest, level 60. Whew. Crazy being level 60 now. Ooh, we got another plus sign over here. Is this one? Is this a quest? A dungeon, maybe? Wondrous Tales. An adventure stands before you wearing a shit -eating, a shit eating grin, gazing at you in a way that makes you not entirely comfortable. Gilded! Elheim Gilded! Gods, it really is you! I've heard songs and tales, but to think that one day it would come that I'd meet you in the flesh! Whatever have I done to deserve such an honor? Trad of all the days to forget to polish my armor. She must think I'm a total bumpkin. But, but wait, dare I ask? No, I daren't. Impose upon such a hero. Oh, but what, what's the harm in trying? Yes, I must try. You see, I'm in a bit of a bind. A pickle, if you will. You see, I've just taken on a task of sorts. A task far, far beyond the abilities of a two-gill greenhorn like myself. But you, yes, a real renowned hero like you could tackle this monumental task in your sleep, blindfolded with both arms and a leg tied behind your back. So do it for me, yes? Wonderful. Just head over to Rowena's and tell Cooley Pooey of Col Coley Poley Poey of their... You're there to help. Okay, back to Rowena's, huh? Did I say Coley Poley? I, I, mean, I mean, Chloe Alipo. Alipo. That isn't my silly little nickname for her, and I certainly haven't been frequently frequenting her shop every day for the past two moons, that her ever-so-cute little smile might brighten my dark and dreary days. Oh, I blabbered it on enough, haven't I? <laughs> Ta-ta. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is super important. Ooh, I like super important. Sounds like it's going to lead to a dungeon, but I don't know. Whether it does or not, we're doing it. Every plus sign must be accomplished. Speaking of which, we also have a fair bit of just like done like quests just kind of like laying about the place from level 50 that still need to be cleaned up. That we're gonna have to do at some point. Hey there, lady. I'm Chloe. Chloe Aliapu. Who might you be? Elheim Gilded. The Elheim Gilded? From all the stories? Wow, you're like a legend. A real living, breathing legend. This is so exciting. Did I tell you I love stories? Well, I do. And not just listening to them. I'm pretty good at telling them, too. I have this friend whose mommy and daddy went away and never came back. And, well, she gets lonely and cries sometimes. So I tell her stories to cheer her up. That's right, stories of brave adventurers like you. She likes my stories. She stops crying. She even starts smiling and laughing. Seeing her happy makes me happy too. But lately, she's just been staring off into space. It must be my fault. I bet all my stories are starting to sound the same. But then I had an idea. Do you know what it is? I'll ask a great adventurer like you to tell me your stories, and I'll put them together and make a new stories of my own. That's a really great idea, right? Tell me you think so too. Flapsicore. Oh no, it's the devil. What? Hey, placebo. Been struggling for the last half hour trying to fix the latch on your microwave. Oh man. So will you help me? Rowena gives me all sorts of things when I work hard, so if you do this for me, I can give you some of them too. What sort of things? Well, tone stones, for one. And well, all kinds of other special stuff, but not my Mandragora pin. That's all mine. Mandragora! So do me a favor. Remember all your bestest stories and write them down in this notebook here. I'll call it Chloe's Wondrous Tales, because I have a tale, and I tell tales, get it? Every time you your stories help me come up with a new tale of my own, I'll give you a present. It'll be a lot of fun for both of us, don't you think? Thanks, Elheim. And by the way, you're even cuter than I pictured you from the stories, tee -hee. This is like a new side thing to do. Chloe is the devil? Oh my. Do tell. Welcome to the Wondrous Tales! Henceforth, you can share your tales of heroism and daring do for the chance to earn valuable rewards. To begin, you'll want to obtain a Wondrous Tales journal from Chloe Aliapo. In addition to the one you've just received, a new journal we've made available every week. With the journal, it, Within the journal is a card with 16 squares, four columns, four rows, each representing a certain quest or duty, or category of the same, triumph in a corresponding adventure, and the square will be marked off. You can mark off up to nine squares on a single card. Complete the conditions described within, for example, marking off nine squares, making off, marking off four squares in a row, and so forth, and you'll deliver your marked journal to Chloe. The story-loving Makote child will reward you accordingly. So it's like we're doing bingo with quests. 
View objectives and see which squares you've marked off, as well as re view reward conditions and time limits. You'll need to use the journal from the key items menu. A new journal will be available to Chloe Adipo every week. They're okay, yeah. Resets, got it. Alright, cool. That's nifty. That's not something I would really bother with until max level, probably. I mean, that time could just be spent leveling and working on the main story. Let's go to Rowena. Satchel Gizmo. Quite the name. Alexander Parts Exchange? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Alexandrian Part Exchange? What? Ala what? Hmm? Level 250. I want to fight Alexander. He's one of my favorite summons. I love all this stuff. Primal Gear. What am I looking for? Primal Gear. Primal Gear 1. No, what do these require? Expanse totems. Put them cure Alexander. We're gonna fight Alexander, man. That's awesome. Bosses tokens. Uncanny knickknacks. Our specific item. Okay. Shire gear. Hey -o. Dark Knight gear. Augmented Shire Greatsword. Plus 25 physical damage. Holy crap, that's a big upgrade. <laughs> like... What? Oh, thank you. That's like almost 50% more damage. Oh my god. I had a level 270. And the stats, yeah, oh my god. Alright, well that's... Humongous. <laughs> nice. Only weapons? Armors from the other person? Here's the 270 stuff. We are just short of being able to get another piece. We need, what, 24? 24 more poetics. And we're gonna go to level 60 armor anyways. But man, that's a huge upgrade. I can get an accessory. Choker. A bracer. Bracelet. And a ring. <laughs> yeah, the ring is probably best first because we have we have this 125 ring that could definitely go away.
Oh wait, wrong one. <laughs> yeah. Oof, that's like three times as many stats. Man, our item level just went from like, it just went up like 50 levels. <laughs> All right, um, we have another quest to turn in. Not here, though. Let me. Are they both? They're both in Mat Matoyas, actually. They're both in Matoyas. Okay. Let's head back to Matoyas. We don't really have any way to teleport to Matoyas, do we? Very well. So to ride down there. No, this is Heaven's Word. This is actually the first expansion, which I am just now getting to the end of. So we got two more expansions to get through before I get to the real end game, and then there's a new expansion coming out this year. So, I generally play this on the stream with Minus and Caranova every Wednesday night. And sometimes, like tonight, I'll, I'll add an extra hour or two here or there, but generally Wednesday night is Final Fantasy XIV night. And I'm, I'm going through the whole main story, and, you know, I'm actually reading all the quests and everything so we can get the whole story of the game. Um, you know, It's just part of being in all the Final Fantasies. I'm really enjoying doing an MMO on the stream, though. We've been I've been talking about maybe next year after I've finished Final Fantasy XIV and have, you know, gotten to the end of Endwalker or whatever, that we um, do the same thing with World of Warcraft. Wow, story's not right. Wow, story isn't bad. It's not anywhere near the same as this one. Most of Wow's story is in the raids, though. You don't get that much story doing quests, honestly. I think Wow probably has better gameplay, though, so far. But it's not a fair comparison because I haven't played the current Final Fantasy XIV yet. I haven't gotten to the current expansions. Yeah, there's a lot of story in the books too. That's true. But you can get most of like the you know the major plot points. Um just by Um, just by playing the raids. And doing all the quests. But what I was thinking of doing if we did World of Warcraft, I would be doing like a lore master playthrough where I try and a get the lore master achievement, which is the achievement for doing all of the main story, all the main quest lines in every single zone in the game, basically, in every expansion. It's not every quest, but it's like every like major quest. But um, I, I would probably be leveling like twenty different WoW characters in the course of doing that. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I also be interested in another MMO is like a uh, Guild Wars 2 and Elder Scrolls Online. I like MMOs. They're just fun. Especially if we can get a community together. Like if we can get other viewers to join in, the more the merrier. That's what makes MMOs fun is when you actually have people to play with. Playing them like a single player game is not really what they're about. Anyways. These bugs are no more? Thank you. Not only are you kind, but you're strong as well, Ribbit. Now I can resume my duties again. Harvesting and making tea is all I'm capable of. If I was doing a full stream, I'd definitely finish Heaven Word tonight. I'm a failed creation, you see. Unlike my mistress's other children, I'm incomplete and clumsy. For want of a task I could perform, she bade me serve her tea seven times daily, but even in this, I needed assistance, Ribbit. Unless I make myself 
more useful. Tis only a matter of time before my mistress removes my enchantment, and then I would revert to an ordinary toad, incapable of speech. I cannot bear the thought of that. I must become a better servant, and I believe that I can do so. Only I knew what my mistress desires. Having received having received of her blessing, the brooms here are bound to possess her this knowledge. Alas, they refuse to talk to me. But you are our guest. They cannot willfully ignore you, even if they are not entirely cooperative or forthright. Please speak with them, Ribbit, and acquire the information I need to survive. Oh. Sounds like he was trying to get me to do something else for him, but that's the end of the quest. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to be stopping in just a little bit here because Deadshire is going to take over and do Danganronpa 2. Um, starting at 8. But, um... You know, on Wednesday, we'll definitely be hitting the end of Heaven's Word, I guess. And, I mean, I say the end of Heaven's Word. It's the end of, like, the main original story of Heaven's Word. But, like, there's still all the patches to do, too, right? And honestly, if it's anything like Final Fa If it's anything like World of Warcraft, those patches are Heaven's Word, too. Like, like with WoW, like, a new expansion will come out and it'll be like, you know... Patch 5.1... 5.0... And then the first raid will come out, 5.1. The second raid, 5.2. Third raid, 5.3. Like, those are all part of that expansion, right? So, we're not really going to be done with Heaven's Word for a while. But we'll be done with the first section, I guess. I take it you found the tome. Well, let's see it then. Ah, this is all right. Stola, boy, put down whatever you're doing and come here. Elham has returned with the tome. Yeah, in World of Warcraft, like the first patch, like the, the not not even patch, the expansion itself, like say like it was 5.0. That's only set up. You know what I mean? Like and then 5.1 will be the ra the first raid, and that's that's the big first big chunk of story. Like everything before the first raid is just set up. And then the raids actually advance the story and have, like, conclusions and stuff. Like, um, nothing big generally happens before the first raid. It's, it's all just, like, setting things up. Like, big things will happen, but they're, like, instigating events. They're not, like, finishing, you know? Ah, right, this is it, all right. Stola, boy, put down whatever you're doing come here. Elheim has returned home with the tome. Thank the gods. But another minute under Master Matoya's exacting supervision, and I would certainly have lost my mind, or may have merely my temper. Some things never change indeed. Well, I, for one, appreciate the exacting supervision. In short, oh, haven't even started on post 3.0 content yet? Yeah, yeah. I appreciate the exacting supervision. In short, while we have been here, I feel I have gained a far better understanding of arcane entities than I did during my entire time at the studio. Should the opportunity present itself, I should very much like to employ this knowledge for the betterment of mankind and create a new variety of carbuncle, perhaps. Don't get ahead of yourself, boy. Louis Swad's grandson or no, it'll take another decade under me before you can call yourself a scholar. And a deal more than that to make you a scholar worth a damn. As you may have gathered, Master Matoya is not easily impressed. Indeed. <clears throat> so, um, Elheim has returned with the tome, has she not? Shall we examine it? Do we get flight? Light! Haha! -ha. Toya's gaze is firmly fixed upon her tome. I had not thought to behold this tome again. There! It is deciphered. Now your friend should be able to make sense of the contents. I was surprised she wasn't blind. Maybe this is a prequel to Final Fantasy 1 and she's going to lose her eye during the story. <laughs> that said, it's one thing to understand the workings of the etheric converter and another to actually make it work. You do realize how much ether is required. Sid is keenly aware of the energy dilemma. His airship is by no means large, and it can only bear a limited quantity of crystals. If only we had white orosite in the etheric siphon. Alas, 
Minfilia is messing along with both artifacts, mm. and Moonbreeder is gone. Would that there were another ready wellspring of energy for us to draw upon. <gasps> Why did it not occur to us before? We already have what we need. The eye. Oh God. It has been drawing ether into itself for as long as the great worms have lived. It is a veritable wellspring of energy. Of course, we're gonna use the eye. Hmm. Oh, that's sad to hear. It might just suit our needs. But is this energy something that can be harnessed at will? I believe so. With the aid of the Azure Dragoon of Ishgard. Then it is settled. Let us return to the Holy See at once. Was Ishtola's eyes like that before the live stream? I don't remember her eyes being like cloudy. Or white or whatever. Okay, I didn't think so. I love her new outfit. Wait. When did the light fade from my oh. eyes? Okay. I might have known that it would not escape your notice. It has been this way since I returned from the live stream. An after effect of the teleportation magic I invoked, most like. They are called forbidden spells for a reason. What were you thinking, girl? Thinking she was going to die otherwise? No regrets. I but did what was necessary to preserve the light of hope, to keep my promise to Minfilia. Besides, it afforded me the rare opportunity to wander the ether, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I need not tell you that it consumes your very life force to see by sensing the ether around you. Mm. Take care of yourself. Do you hear me? She's seeing by sensing ether? I will, Master Matoya. And thank you. The feeling she doesn't need that little headset thing anymore. Uh, that's gonna come up again. Come in handy before it gets bad, though. Alright. Thanks to your customarily heroic efforts, we now possess the knowledge to build an etheric ram. All that remains is to secure the energy source. Let us hasten back to Ishgard and consult Sir Amric regarding the eye. Alright. <laughs> yeah, carve and spit and arm. Sid seems strangely at peace for a change. Countess Istrid missive. Countess Count. Countess Istrid's missive arrived while you were away. We're to meet her in the Western Highlands, away from prying eyes. She's gone to great lengths to conceal her husband's deeds, so it comes as no surprise that she preferred to settle this in secret. Elheim, I, I don't know what's waiting for us out there. If, But if aught should happen to me, pray keep Riel safe. Right then, I believe she wanted a word with you before we left. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, Elheim. I want you to know that I'm truly grateful for the time we shared. You, Sidurgu, and Frey taught me much about the world and about what it means to fight for one another. And what it means to fight for yourself. We're going to finish this together, the three of us. 
Not else to say, really. The twin pools, then. Let us not keep the Countess waiting. So that new, um... That new game that they announced the other day, the, um... It doesn't even have a name yet. Was it the Project Triangle or whatever? That looks interesting. Like a new tactics game. You guys see that? Here. Yeah, it seems sweet. Oh, I put a new poll up on Twitter. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it's um, what game to play after Final Fantasy IX. It's still early to ask because you know, we um, we're only in disc one of Final Fantasy IX. We probably we'll, we'll come out of disc one probably Sunday, right? Um. But uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get the ball rolling on that so I can plan ahead. The three games I'm considering are all new games. Um, East 9, Persona 5 Strikers, and um, Bravely Default 2. Which, honestly, I'm going to play all of them. I'm just curious like which ones people want to see the most, because we'll play that one first, right? And also... If we're gonna play it, which we are, um, should we play any of the other games in those series? Cause like East has a bunch of great games. Like Persona 5 Royal, I still haven't played. Persona 5 Strikers doesn't come from Royal, it just comes from vanilla Persona 5, but at the same time, like it wouldn't hurt to play Royal, right? Um And Bravely Default 2 is not a direct sequel to Bravely Default 1. Bravely Bravely Second was the direct sequel to Bravely Default 1. Bravely Default 2 is in its own world with its own set of characters. It's kind of like another Final Fantasy kind of thing. It, it's it's a whole new story. But it still, we could play part one if people want to see it. Still early, says the guy planning what to play at the Final Fantasy 14. That's true. I like to plan. You know, that's me. I'm a planner. Back when I could actually stream full time, my plans weren't as crazy because I went through the game so damn fast that I had to constantly plan ahead. Because like a week, oh, most games wouldn't last a week, you know, <laughs> like two weeks if it was a really long game. But um, I have a full time job now, so I go a little slower. All right, scenes were early. Well, it's not as though I have pressing business elsewhere. Enjoy a moment's respite with me, Alheim. How long am I going to stream? I'm probably going to finish my level 60 job quest, get my armor, and then that'll be it for Final Fantasy 14 tonight. Deshire is coming on at 8 o'clock to play Danganronpa 2. She is in Chapter 2. The second murder just happened, and she's starting the investigation at 8 o'clock. No more dancer quests till you finish Shadowbringer. Gotta finish Shadowbringer then. You came. A wise decision. I do not trust this woman. I lost my antler hat. You have his eyes, his nose, his lips. Every time I look at you, I see more and more of him, and it sickens me. Riel is not her father. You have no right to punish her for what he did. Who are you to stand in judgment of me? I have every right. I bore that monster into this world, and by the fury, I shall send it to the seventh hell. You so bloody fond of it, you can follow it there. She's calling her it. It's just us now. No one else. Remember phrase con conjuring. Protect us and we'll protect you. Right then. Yay, Riel's helping. Oh, I think I'm that fast. Oh, so I got my new weapon. Oh my god! <laughs> I do more damage. 
These guys are kind of weak, though, too, I think. Just how many did she bring? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Come on. Come on. Took too long. Oh, there's more of them back here. Are we trying to get to somewhere? Oh, we're trying to get to the mom, maybe. Do they just keep coming until we get to the mom? I wonder. Mega weapon? Right, down to just the mom. It's your God Hand. Of course, your last name is God Hand. Maybe it has a title. I hit that many people at you, I almost feel like it's freaking, um... Dynasty Warriors in here. <laughs> Just mowing down neat people. Rog! Damn you, get, get out of my way! The big sword. Why? Why? Why do you care so much what happens to it? You're not the first person to ask me that. Once you might have understood. For everything that you are, you have that you have done, you're still her mother. Not gonna kill her mom. Go, we shall not meet again. Oh, but we will, we will knight, I promise you that. Oh, we're gonna kill her then. <laughs> I will follow you to the ends of the world if I must. So long as she, so long as it lives, I must. Don't you see, you fool? The Fury wills it! The Fury wills it! Just putting on those Nagito eyes now. Oh, maybe Riel's gonna kill her. Riel? How great your love for her. Far greater than you ever bore me. For a time, I prayed for forgiveness. I prayed you would take me in your arms and hold me as you did before. But I know that shall never come to pass. I will pray for you, Mother, that you might find peace in her halls. Now that you're going to die. Oh, Halone, receive, un receive of us this woman, your humble servant. Raise her up to your bosom and grant her glory everlasting. Look at her, she's still smiling over there. It's creepy. I ain't smiling now, are you? Bye bye. Slow mo decapitation here. Damn.
Oh, head stayed on. So, what now? We go back to Ishkard. Together. As you wish. I don't like my new helmet. <laughs> That was a cool quest. Speaking of our poll on Twitter, so far it is 100% Persona 5 Strikers. All the votes. <laughs> Even stays that way. I'm interested to see how they did Persona 5 Strikers. I've heard that it's an action RPG, but it still feels like Persona. Like, I don't know how, like how like it, how how much of it is an action RPG and how much it feels more like a Dynasty Warriors kind of thing, like Hyrule Warriors. I don't know what line they drew on that, you know. Strikes you that Persona Five is in the lead. You'll see yourself out. But only two people have voted on anything and win. It all seems so simple in retrospect. The moment I stopped trying to find the answer, there it was. All that anger, all that rage, born of a fervent desire to protect that which we hold most dear. So you are still committed to your path then. And you, if you'll have me. You'll need to talk to me more and listen. Can't stand the silence, you know. There's no shame in sharing the weight, Sid. We can bear it together for ourselves and for others. Right then. The two of us will manage on our own, Elheim. There may be others who know of Riel's heritage, but if they come, we'll be ready. She comes up to, like, his belly button. <laughs> He's so much bigger than her. Granted, we could simply leave Ishgard, but that would leave the people at the mercy of powers that be. We cannot do that now, and neither can Riel, I think. We all need a cause, Elheim, so what will yours be? For whom do you stand? For yours, yeah. We guard the whole freaking continent. <laughs> And so you shall. To walk the path is to suffer, to sacrifice. Justice demands no less. But we will ever lose sight of why we can't, why we choose to walk it. Why we chose to walk it. Words. Gods help me, those Moogles were onto something, weren't they? Yes! Let's see this new armor we get. Carve and spit. We have to find a place for that too. This concludes the Dark Knight quest of Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have registered a product key for Stormblood. You must have completed the main scenario quest, The Far Edge of Fate. Once you have done so, the next Dark Knight quest will be available from Sudurgu. Far Edge of Fate. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. New chapter of New Game Plus. Okay, yeah. Um. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. Well, first of all, let me check my armor and make sure I have room for everything. Am I starting to get full up on chest pieces? We have enough for right now, though. Our feet, too. We have like one foot slot. I 
You get a title? That's cool. Check it out. Is it Black Blood? Imperial Nuisance. I like that one. Hammer of Steeds. Yeah, set, huh? Ooh, the whole new set. All right. Okay, that helmet's better. Basically his set, isn't it? Yeah, we have his set. On my back, is that a bow? I don't think I can draw my weapon. I don't have that bound, do I? Oh no, that's the sword. The sword just has a really large hand card, I guess. Okay. Cool. Gotta find a new spot for our new ability. Have to be one of these. What is this? This is our taunt. What was this one? Unmend. We never use unmend. I forget what it does. Probably should use them then, but... Uh, yeah, deals damage, increases enemy. I don't know why I don't use Unmend. I really should. That's my ranged attack. Right. We need to keep that handy, but it doesn't necessarily need to be right there. Do this. Put it there. No. And spit put there. More, more, more things to do. All right. Next one's not until sixty-two. Blood spiller. Blood gauge cost. Ooh, blood gauge. Oh. Cool. All right. Well, that is. That's our new set of armor. And we're now up to 211. And like we, we've almost gotten, we were like 130 when we started two hours ago. So we've gone up like 70 or 80 item levels <laughs> in the last hour or two. We, uh, we are much more strong. And we'll continue to get stronger as we get the rest of those poetics in too. Once we, now that we're level 60, once we finish um, once we get into the post heavens word part, we'll um, we'll start doing all the dungeons and raids and stuff we can do, and uh, that'll give us a crap ton of poetics. But I think we'll stop right here for right now. I do like the look of the armor, yeah. Um, we will be right back in about twenty minutes. Dash Hour is going to be on here playing Danganronpa two. So we're gonna take a 20 minute break. You know, go grab yourself a bite to eat, get a drink, settle in. We got an investigation to do. Someone killed Mahiru and it's just not cool. <laughs> we gotta find out who did it. I already know who did it. I won't tell them. <laughs> um, come well, on by, it's gonna be a bunch of fun tonight. Um, It's Friday night too, we don't got work in the morning, so. And I know Deshire is dying to know who killed Mahiru, so who knows? We, we, we may continue into the class trial tonight, too. Let's see how long the investigation takes. Um, but yeah. <laughs> it was Binus! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Um, so I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna 
eat the rest of my food, and I will see you guys in 20 minutes. You know, come on back. Thanks for watching. Bye.